Hello, everyone. This is Jim Okrasinski with your weekly screencast video. It is week six. As we move into uh, our, our week six schedule, I have um, reduced uh, some of the discussion board activity, give you a little bit of a break, allow you to really develop your thinking and also uh, your response for discussion board number nine. This is the Exercise 1.5, Topic Proposal. Okay, my thinking for the week is, is that allowing you this time will also allow you to develop a research topic that will sustain you for the balance of the semester. So, given the about a week or so to uh, develop this response to Discussion 1.5, please take a hard look at this particular post. This is the uh, topic that I will comment on and work with you on for the rest of the semester. Uh, resist the urge to copy and paste some of the information from 1.4. Okay, and the reason being here is, is that this is a different activity. So as it says here, read pages 34 to 38. Um, I'm looking for a research proposal based on exercise 1.5 on page 38. So begin the first paragraph with your inquiry question. And I want to emphasize question. Okay, The exercise 1.4 was there and designed to um, stimulate thinking with many questions. This is where we have to try our best to whittle this down to a question. Uh, then write a few sentences about what you want to learn from the topic because this is a research project and the goal here is to learn new information. If you want to take a position and support an argument, write a few sentences on why you would want to argue. So if you feel strongly and you want to take an argument position, uh, that's entirely um, up to you. I just want to get an idea of your thinking there. Also, I want another paragraph describing your prior beliefs, assumptions, and personal experiences. And for the initial post, I'm looking for 300 to 350 words. Now, also included in this is two to three internet sources to help develop your content, your thinking. No formal citation is required. I don't expect it. But do include the links uh, to your sources. So when I say internet sources, try your best to find some um, applicable, um, relevant sources to your potential topic. Um, my preference is always to look for um, authored sources, perhaps uh, short articles. Um, please resist generic web pages. However, I'm looking for two to three internet sources so that way it can help you develop uh, some of the research into thinking of what type of research you might be looking for. So that's the initial post for Discussion Board 1.5. I'll dive into this a little bit more in the lecture video. Um, if you have any questions or issues about this week's uh, Discussion Board activity, please send me an email. Good luck.